Hello, my warriors. How is it going? Welcome to another episode of Battletech Advanced 3062. Guys, today it is time. We're gonna play an assassination mission in four and a half skull territory, and it's gonna be good. <gasps> also, with the latest mission, I didn't realize we get a battle five skull available. Okay. Okay, it is on today, guys. We're gonna play the five skull first because I want to see what's coming, guys. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Uh, first... We take a look at the barracks because I want the best version of my mech warriors possible. And in order to get that, we can get some things going here. Maybe the overheat threshold. I know that I'm restricting myself to not getting into Tactics 9 quickly enough, but I want as much performance as possible. So, to health or... Well, max evasion. Plus one max evasion. Plus the sprint? I'll take that. So, that is roller. And then we have Wobble, which already has that. Okay, guys. Five skulls. Are you ready? I am. Let's do it. Gonna be hard contact in the Tundra. Get four out of 17. Seems good in terms of salvage. And yeah, I know we have a Stalker and the Banshee sitting there, but I think my lands here right now performs um, quite well already. So let's do it. I want to get more 100 ton assault max. And the journey towards them, I think, maybe has come to an end. Now it's all about, can we overwhelm them? Can we kill them quicker as they can kill us? And can we kill them as efficiently as possible so that the metal would be safe and the meat would be killed? Let's do it, guys. I mean, we have a good amount of headshot capabilities here. We have, um, of course, our Marauder 2 that has the eight large lasers that can... Buys maybe three times to the same head component and then pop the cockpit. And we also have a good amount of uh, hit chance with that. So it would be possible. And if that doesn't work, we still have the critical option. Destroying the engine without blowing up the mech. That's also possible. Oh boy, I cannot wait. I'm excited. Let's see what the enemies are throwing at us. Uh, problem is that they have the high ground. Yeah, and we have to walk over rough terrain to actually get to their spot. On the flip side, though, the rough terrain that we have is forests. And forests give cover. So, I'm not too disappointed by that. It's just that we have to take a lot of time. And I'm also very happy that I'm not playing Rogue Tech right now. Because Rogue Tech would give you a worse hit chance when playing in night times. Sight and sensors would be not that, uh, yeah, not that great. Gotcha. There's our first blip. It is... I cannot zoom out for a reason. I don't understand here. Okay, there we go. See a 95-ton vehicle. All right. That's fine. Um, Let's reserve. And then we're going to use Wobble in order to get the sensor lock if possible. Man, this is kind of weird. They are so high on the ground here that I cannot really reach them. Yeah, I cannot sense a lock, sadly. Okay, we have to wait one more round until they get into a close range. Ah, now I can zoom. That's such a weird situation here. Alright. Let's do it. Yeah, I think I have to have a big overview over the battlefield here. Uh, sensor lock on the enemy side. Hopefully they are not doing anything against my Rakshasa, because at the moment I am far away from cover. And as you can see, damage was real. Yeah, we're gonna make it happen. Hopefully. So, important thing, we go to cover. And we see an Alacorn, double heavy Gauss. Oh my god. Um... I'm gonna go with a precision strike here. Mainly for the precision. Oh my god. This thing has the potential to really ruin my day. Yeah, I see that. Yes, Commander. Wobble, you have to do it. You have to follow up on this. Confirmed. You do it, please. Precision strike, the same thing, just going all in. One, more consecutive hits. We need him. 
Uh, that was a start. That's good. Another Gauss from the sidelines. Reporting minimal damage. No, that wasn't minimal. That was quite nasty. Alright. Maybe that's enough. Oh! There's a guy pointing two heavy Gauss rifle rifles at my face. And my Rakshasa is getting shred. Losing all the evasion now. We have to kill now, otherwise we have a real big problem. For that reason, I'm just moving and not sprinting. And that is it. Uh-oh, we got unlucky. We are getting so shred here. And I'm not looking forward to making contact with those Gauss projectiles. Oh my god. Help. Hello. Please don't kill me. I mean, at, at the very least, they are shooting something at my Marauder now. But can the Alacorn get line of sight? Yeah, of course it can, because we had line of sight to him. He's running away. It's so good. That is so good. We actually intimidated this guy. Yeah, of course, as a result, we are taking a lot of damage here against the Zeus, but it was so needed. Okay. Let's go and pursue it with Wobble. What's that? Puma, a soul tank, two LRM-20, Artemis, ERPPC, and so on, and so on, and so on. Are you kidding me? Let it be enough. Come on, blow up. No, you don't. It's insane. It's so insane. All right. Reading you. Yeah, we gotta go vigilance here. I want to sprint in this uh, position. Very, very important. I want to get that. out of here. I want to get away from it. Copy that. And hopefully that's gonna be enough. Down goes the heavy Gauss carrier. Whew. Okay, one enemy down. Seven to go. Okay, let's do it. Oh man, why is this guy so not hittable? I don't know. Maybe it's running an ECM or something. Probably, probably ECM. Wait, where is it? Ow, 75 damage. So there is a... Nothing. Track propulsion. XL engine, vehicle flamer. Okay. Maybe not. Commander? I just want to get into cover. I'm there. This is super important here. And at the very least, we can deal some damage here. Yeah, that was good. Softened the mob big time. It's still not a kill, but it is a start. What's he gonna do? The amount of firepower is just ridiculous on this thing, on the Puma. Mm -hmm. But the bait was actually taken. That's the cool thing. Um, the enemies on the right side are actually um, prioritizing the rifleman now. And that gives us some room to breathe over here. An 80-ton mech coming up and another 80-ton vehicle. That was very accurate. I'm taking some serious hits. Holy cow. I have the strong feeling that we need to put our Marauder to a better spot. Actually, to a spot where, where Wobble is in cover, but she's also... Yeah, I'm gonna reserve here. Uh, but she's also attracting fire. So I think my, my Marauder is, has to be. Has to be my meat shield. Okay. That could have been worse. I'm receiving you. So we have to sprint into cover. Acknowledge. Uh, this is a Zeus up there, by the way. And I wanna, I wanna go vigilance here. Yeah. I can also go precision strike. Okay, that's cool. I will go for the tank first. 
That thing has to go. Number two of the board. I'm gonna reserve to make them do something now. I can force them. Yeah, okay. Sensor lock, it's fine. I wanna get the high ground, by the way. That's my, my goal right now. Yes, Commander. And, um... Hmm. I'm here. I wanna... Yes, Commander. Move this guy now. Yeah, too. Moving and bracing would make sense now. Reading you. Kind of, but I... I do want to be aggressive. I do want to stay aggressive. That's the most important thing here. Order acknowledged. So here's what we do. Engaging target. We'll shoot the Zeus. That's at least the thing I can do. It's a Gauss LRM Zeus. Basically the same thing that we have. Okay. My turn. Cruise. Let's do it. And, oh god, this thing is so far away. It actually might be that we have... No, it's just the height difference. The height difference is getting us such a big difficulty to hit here. Wow, it's insane. We really have to push up that hill. Okay. Yeah, that makes some sense. Yes, Commander. Okay, just sprint out of the way and hope for the best. Yeah, that's nothing. Okay. I should have moved and braced only. Here's the cool thing. We still have a lot of armor on our left side. And uh, the Shrek, going in with uh, AC5's precision ammo, is okay. We can deal with that. Same here with the Rakshasa. Our left side is still okay. Oh, the right side is the one that shouldn't get shred. Okay, so yes, Commander. where to go? That's the important question here. Yeah. You can get three evasion by just going over here. Am I afraid of those ACs? Not so much. I'm more afraid of this guy. But I could hit the the Shrek. Easily and potentially kill it without using resolve. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do then. Yeah. That's just firepower off the board. Number three, by the way. Number three. Luckily, the Zeus is turn one. Oh, that was too much now. Too much of a push on the high ground. See, we have to destroy the Zeus basically right now. Mm-hmm. How do we do it? Destroying his center. Yeah, cooling is crit, and he is open. That is good. Now, next up. Who's gonna be the best one to continue the damage on him? 43% with the Rax. If I do that, I'm gonna shoot my... I'm gonna shoot my missiles. Maybe we're getting lucky. Oh, wait. Ooh, I have Precision Strike available. But that's the engine crit. Not destroyed. Not the component was destroyed, but the engine was crit. And that means... <laughs> want to say that means that the enemies have no locks on us anymore. Yes, Commander. Yes, I was ra wrong. Move Gonna be order. a move and brace. I want to shake up the stability damage. It's super important right now. But hey, we have... Half of the enemies, four of them down. We have probably four of them on the right side? Question mark? Might be. Yeah, that makes sense. Go for the target that is braced and guarded. <laughs> and not the target that you could potentially hit in the back. Thank you for that. Okay, okay. So that should give us some relief here. Let's go, headshot. Yay, we got him. The very last two shots there, connected to the face. Ooh, so, we're getting straight ahead of the power curve here. Now we have four mechs against three of them. The sad thing about... No, never mind. I wanted to say the sad thing about us is that we didn't have any good salvage here. Didn't, didn't have any good pickups here. But there's a 100-ton mech. 
That's pretty good, I would say. Pick it up. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. But first, we're gonna try to get the Crusaders out of the way. See, we need, we need to focus. I don't want any disturbance in my battle plan getting that 100 ton mech. So, let's take out the, the significant firepower first. On, yeah, like that. And then we deal with the rest. It's sink destroyed, and he's also unsteady. What's that? It is a thing that shreds my rifleman, that's for sure. Okay. Okay. And we kill here? That would be so good. Yeah, we at least have a knockdown. That is a start. I need to bring my Marauder to the front line, p pull my Rifleman back and then see what's coming. Super important. Also, why is he not turn 1? He needs to be... he actually had to be turn 1. Super weird. Oh, that is a problem. We lost a little bit of evasion that we had. And my rifleman is turn I'm here. two. Uh, sorry, turn one. Ten four. It's an Atlas with an he wow heavy Gauss Atlas, as well as a Victor with a Gauss rifle down there. <laughs> okay. Hello. That wasn't a kill. I'm disappointed. Guard a critical hit. Huh. Alrighty. We just give them more targets. That's the only thing I can really provide right now. Kill him! Still not dead. Can't believe that. Okay. What's the victor gonna do? Ah, bad. It's so bad. At the very least, he hit a component that was not that damaged yet. It might be that we are losing the rifleman here, depending what the Atlas decides to do. Can I intervene? Can I destroy that? I have but one chance, and that is hitting the cockpit with the Gauss rifle from Cruz, but he has not the... He's too bad at that. He's too bad at making those called shots. Oh wait, I can just run away. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a good plan. Okay. Go in and do that. Funnily enough, the Crusader is still alive. Ah! Help! Okay. We should be fine. Hopefully. Atlas? Oh. That's a hit on the arm. But we are still there. Oh, come on, Cruz. Cruz, help us out! Please! Please do something! Okay, since Crusader is not a threat anymore, I will go for the arm of the Victor. And yes, I'm hitting the arm here because that's where the Gauss is in. I'm just afraid. I want to mitigate damage. I want to reduce firepower. And we have a crit at least. I was hoping for the Gauss to go boom, but that is something at least. Atlas? No! Still alive! I'm losing weapon systems. Hey. Rakshasa. Yes, Commander. Still there. Um one moment. Do it like this. We'll try to push him back in another turn. Try to hit the okay. arm again. All right, Gauss is boom. Good, a critical hit. And the side also is about to pop too. Good. Reading you. Um, that enables us, <laughs> God, to actually balance. follow up on the damage that we dealt already. We just hit this guy in the center. Done with it. 
Yeah, that makes sense. But we don't need much. We need four health. I'm not gonna shoot that with a uh, cold shot for four health. Uh-huh. That's what you get, Victor. Good. Sight also destroyed. Yeah. And we have the Crusader also that's down. Cool. Um, that enables us to do something with Wobble. Question is what? Going over here, shooting everything, technically. Also practically. So engaging from the side when the side torso is already destroyed is good. Because the damage will then transfer over directly to the center. And that's what we got. Sadly, we didn't get the kill, but it was close. You're gonna punch us now? With 100 damage? Nope. Just some short range missiles as well as two medium pulse hits, and that is the turn. Cruise. Cruise, cruise, cruise. What to do? What to do? I'm clueless. Uh, I'm gonna take out the victor. I'll try. Yeah, for that. For that engagement, I shouldn't have gone to the left side of him. That way, I couldn't really hit the center. Atlas. I am so lucky. You cannot imagine how lucky I am right now. That his heavy gauss is hitting the most or the least significant components all the time. That is so insane. I'm here. Uh, yeah. Confirmed. Can you kill? That's a kill. Okay. Mech destroyed. Uh, for some reason this Victor is still standing straight. But... This is what we're gonna do now. We're gonna try to hit the guy, the Atlas here, in the head. Multiple times. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yeah! Once more! Yes! We got him! So, thing is, yes, our Rakshasa got beat up. However, we got an Atlas. Oh, that's another 100 ton assault mech. We are getting close to our full 100 ton lands. And keep in mind, guys, we have to play. Uh, we have another mech. We have another mission to play that is an assassination mission. Four and a half skull. That means the assassination target is most likely another 100 ton mech. Thing is, we somehow have to get him. All right, let's do it. So lucky with the Rakshasa, so lucky. Okay, here we go. And it's a good Atlas on top of that. So Gauss Rifle, Heavy Gauss, we have some of them already. I don't think that we need any more of them. The interesting thing about this here is that it seems that we didn't Get any special weapon systems yet. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take the ECM because I want my mechs to be more evasive uh, as soon as we are getting into this five skull territory. There's so much damage around and I want to be defended. And that comes with my ECM. Alright. Pretty good. That means that we have a full assault lance now, which is Rifleman, Zeus, the Marauder and the Atlas, and I think I'm not even bothering building something out of the Rakshasa anymore. I would just scrap that thing, getting the free parts, and then building the Atlas. I just want to get that thing on the battlefield. And the Atlas is the cool thing. Uh, has a lot of different hard points, so we can actually manage some cool ballistic energy build and put some double heat sinks on the mech, and the... Um, the heat threshold is being soaked up by our energy weapons. The cold ballistics are providing some extra DPS or damage per turn. DPT, probably. It's gonna be good. I'm happy now. Alright, first things first. We'll take a look at our Atlas and the options that we have. We could also make... Uh, we can also make an arrow carry out of this, depending on the hard points distribution. Yeah, it is uh, four energy all on the arms. It has the heavy gauss here and then LRM 15 with Artemis there. This is already a pretty good mech. Seriously, I'm not even kidding. This thing performs 
It's overcooling for some weird reason. Alright, I'll take it. Um, but do I want the heavy gauss? Seriously, do I want the heavy gauss? I mean, it is an insane amount of damage. Like, ridiculously high. Could technically do this. Double gauss. We had to keep the light engine, though. Drop the LRM. Uh, and then drop the cooling. Put Endo on the mech. Ta-ta! So, we have to wait now. We have the cooling big time, so we can do that. Hmm. We are still overcooling. So, triple or maybe even... What? Large laser? If we go regular larges, maybe? Maybe we can uh, manage the heat a bit better if we go with regular large lasers. I'm just thinking right now. Just thinking by doing things. Okay, heat management is, as I was saying, okay now. We drop the case. We drop... Of course, this... Uh, imagine that would be regular Gauss ammo. By the way, do we have Gauss ammo? Uh, yeah, 10 bins. Okay, so that's not a problem. Hmm. I want the ECM. I want... Bling, yeah. Double Gauss quad large laser. Seems like a build to me. But we would be still two tons over. What I could do is the following. I'll keep that. A single Gauss rifle. We are not going with the heavy. I still think that the LRMs are interesting here. Putting it into the leg. Let's, let's armor up first. Let's also go... Let's go ahead and put an XL engine into that. It's because I want more weight. I want more firepower. That enables us to get... This is what we have right now, plus a little bit more of an engine rating. Okay. Then we'll take another double heat sink. Two. Yeah, we are getting there. Okay, single Gauss. Oh, we also need Gauss ammo, obviously. Where's my Gauss ammo? I'll take probably just. Yeah, one or two bins, that's the question. Let's take two bins of Gauss ammo. We don't need that much LRM ammo. Uh, we also don't have any support systems. That's a problem. I really, really wish that we could get um, an AMS going for us. So, what else? It's another heat sink that we take if we drop the hand actuator here. We don't need them. Not at all. I mean, yeah, it gives us more melee hit chance, but not going melee with this thing. So, Gauss LRM-15, quad large laser. That's what I want. Not really. Not really. Um, I want more missiles. Yeah, I'm a missile addict. I am. Sorry for that. There's a 15. Go double 15. And the double 15, I think the amount of ammunition that we have is just good. Also, the heat efficiency is going up because of that. Maybe we can go triple large. Like that. It would be perfect in terms of heat management. I know that my ammo is... rather low. It's not really low, but it's rather low. We have um, a... Uh, ECM is there already. I'm looking for something like a gyro. But we don't have that. Okay. Hmm... Also, we wouldn't have the slot for that. So, triple large laser, double LRM-15, Gauss rifle. Armor like crazy. It's an Atlas. What do you expect? Pretty good. Uh, we can probably go down to 100 in the back here. Also, 100 here, 100 there, and we should be fine. 235 on the center. Yeah. That's a million bills, and it's 24 days. And I'm very much willing to take that. We're gonna wait a little bit while, uh, do we? Wait, 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 wait. Do we? We could also... Just drop this guy. Uh, yeah, we're gonna scrap the Rakshasa. And we're gonna play with, with those guys here. 
the assassination mission. The stalker is absolutely fine as it is. That's how we do it. One second though, before we do it. I'm gonna quickly check if I have an ECM on all of my mechs. It's super important. There's one, okay. There is... Uh, beagle. Yeah, we had the Beagle here because we didn't have an ECM at the time when we were building this mech. Oh wait, there's the ECM. Okay. Uh, whatever. Can stick there, can stay there. Huh. Although we have an ECM, it is not really giving us so much defense. And the Stalker has also ECM as well as the Marauder. Cool. That means we can now dive into the second mission of the day. Whew, which is gonna be the assassination mission. Alright. Maximum salvage. The Draconis Combine doesn't like us. <clears throat> but hey. There's always something, right? Here we go. Let's do it. Getting uh, the Master Tactician, uh, uh, no, the Call Shot Mastery as well as Breaching Shot on the Zeus is important here. There is a very rare chance, not that rare actually, um, but there is a chance that we actually go in with a single Gaussit to the cockpit with a Breaching Shot in order to try to desperately kill somebody with one blow. And the hit chance is, again, is probably high percentage in the base hit, plus about 19%, 16 to 19% with the cockpit hit. It is possible. And having Breaching Shot available to actually breach the cockpit in one blow there makes some sense. We could have also gone for a full energy plus Gauss build on the yeah, on the Atlas. Something like triple, maybe even quad PPC plus a single Gauss. But we needed the PPCs that have higher damage output in order to get there. The ones that have plus 10 damage on as a quirk. Uh oh. Okay. I want to push into the left side. Into this territory here. The reason for it being that I want to avoid those guys on the right side for as long as possible. And we dive directly into the area of this guy, of our primary, yeah, primary target. I sure don't want to get caught in a crossfire. And therefore I'm going to the left side. All right. Waiting for orders. Team is getting laggy a bit, but it's fine. Copy that All right, here we go. The biggest problem that I would have is if I focus on um, pushing up that hill and getting a lot of indirect fire from the right side all the time, that would make me very vulnerable in a single location on my max, and that Stand makes by. it so that my XL engine might be getting exposed, and that's a thing that I don't want. Commander? So let's hope right, for the best. Skipper. Okay. Standing by. Yeah, positioning is key. We have to go up here. Super important. At the very least, I can retaliate with my arrows. So that's something that I'm very much looking forward Standing to. By. Throwing some arrows around, especially when the enemies are blocked up down there. Come on, okay. Let's make it happen. Yes, come Let's on. make it happen. Exactly. That's what we are here for. Making things happen. Acknowledged. All right, all right, and we have crossed the river, technically. Waiting for orders. We still don't have a blip though, so, hmm. Where's the big guy? Where is the traitorous commander? I really hope he's pushing down here. Trying to establish line of sight himself so that we can actually uh, maybe engage this round already. Still not here? Ah, there we go. And it is an 80 ton mech. Good. The charger. I mean, it's not good because I was expecting a 100 toner, but maybe one of those guys down there is also one of them. Uh, no line of sight yet. Yeah, that's sprint. Let's base our, our gameplay on evasion here. Hmm. Who's? Ooh, wait, wait, wait. No, that wasn't line of sight. There was a little bug there. Sometimes that happens, but it wasn't really line of sight that we got there. Primary target damage, Commander. So, primary target damage, just a bit of splash damage, but it softens up his armor so that we can then go in 
uh, when the time is right and just go full aggressive. Same here with the Zeus, just throwing some indirect LRMs. Softening up his armor. Charger coming in. So, and at this point of the game, the enemies have, well, good hit chance. And they also have uh, full vision on my rifleman. That means all of the guys down there that still has a, have a move and have indirect fire, they will try to shred my rifleman. That was the thing that I was worried about. So the plan is to destroy that charger as quickly as possible in order to make this stop. Here we go. Waiting for orders. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go wobble. Good hit chance. Targeting Good headshot. There's one. Ah, oh, it's not enough though. Okay. But hey, we still have so who can really follow up on that. Hey, it doesn't make sense. Standing by. All right, that's perfect. I'm there. Let's try again, but this time with more auto cannon fire. Firing all weapons. <laughs> Neck warriors, yeah. Show them what you got. That'll get things done. That was pretty decent. And here's what we do now. We have the arrows and we have a bunch of them and we just drop the arrows down there. It doesn't show any numbers here and that's because the enemies were not on our sensors, but it might be that they have been hit anyway. Commander? Depending where they stand. Alright, so primary, primary target down means that we just push into this direction and just deal with the rest of the enemies. Which is a lot of enemies. We have the current forces as well as the reinforcements coming down. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Yeah, that's a problem. Oh, big thunderbolts! We need to get cover! Warning. Armor low. That is bad. That is so bad. Thunderbolt missiles. Are you kidding me? It was probably the vehicle down there. Uh, yeah. I mean... Let's drop some arrows on his head. Good. Take that, mister. No damage detected. Also, 70 ton. I see, there you can see all the damage that was actually stacked on those enemies is now floating in the numbers. But there was actually a lot of damage coming down. Yeah, Wobble cannot do anything, but we can... I mean, she can lock. No! Slight yellow range. Okay. Never mind. Standing by. Not gonna happen, at least not this round. I wanna be in the forest. Uh huh. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Okay. Quick stepping it. And we all set up. So this high ground here on top of the forest is gonna be good. My poor stalker is getting shred though. I don't like that. See, it's not an assault mech, it is a heavy mech. And they bring so much firepower. Is that enough for making him unsteady? Damage minimal. No, not yet. That is. Okay. Oh yeah, and wow, we're getting so much damage here. If the arrow ammo goes boom, mm, we have a problem. As well as our sight also. If that thing goes boom, we lose a mech. They've got a sensor lock on me. That's good, actually. That's really good. That might be that they are focusing the Zeus as a result. Yes! I'm under heavy fire. That's what I'm talking about. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Oh my god. That was pretty bad. We lost a stalker. Uh, it is gonna be extremely difficult to make things happen now. Wow. Okay, so where would we go? Man, those sensor locks are aware giving us a hard time. I have to be super aggressive now. We have to destroy things in order to get ahead of the power curve here. Grasshopper, be gone. 
Please. Red number, come on. It's hoping for a headshot. Critical hit, Commander. Good. Or not so good. Alright, he's jumping back. He didn't do anything. I'm here. Next up. Oh! Double time. Let's Can't go. still hit him. I'll just try to finish him. It has actually, let's go headshot. We actually hit the head, but it wasn't enough. Oh my god. How do we destroy those tanks? I don't know. And yes, I was very well aware that I was pushing out of cover here. However, again, we have to be super duper mega aggressive. Yet again. Let's take him out. Okay, so Grasshopper, down. down. That means that they need to sensor lock now. There's a Victor coming down. Doing nothing. And this 80 ton vehicle. Okay, 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 okay. That could have been worse. So, 90 ton vehicle. That's the thing, right? Was that the guy with the big Thunderbolt missiles? I think so. 65 tonner, also sensor locking. And they still have so much firepower. No, there come the Thunderbolts. Luckily all of them missed. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We need three hits to destroy the Victor's head. Thing is, I can only step back and forth on the high ground here. Not giving us anything. That's not getting us anywhere. I think I'm gonna reserve here, although it could result in us getting shred. It's a risky move. I'm very well aware of that. Thing is, I want to use my inspiration that I have right now. The plus one accuracy. I want to use it before I make the precision strike. Thunderbolt coming in. Okay, they are doing me the favor of coming close. So, one more. A 65 ton vehicle. And a lot of damage. Yeah, I need to bring my rifleman to another spot right now. What? Oh, crap. That's the knockdown. Okay, so my battle plan was flawed. I'm hit. I didn't expect them to have so many enemies there. I'm here. Gotta stand up now. Oh, that's bad. All right. I'm up again. That's minefield there. Mm, yeah, I'll just take it. Order acknowledged. It is okay. And we will be shooting this uh, Thunderbolt. Target. Because we can deal more damage to him compared to the Victor. Okay. Yes, Commander. Uh, okay. All right. Let's do it like that. It's the only target that we have. Confirmed. Okay, down he goes. He's dead. Yeah. So in retro, retro, retrospective, Enemy you say that like that? Um, I should have shot the Victor with my rifleman, because then I would have dealt damage to the Victor. I gotta bring the Zeus down there. Although I know that going over rough terrain is not the best idea in the world. Anyway, that's a Zeus and that's an Ontos. It's a million lasers. But yeah, we can potentially destroy that thing. Potentially. But we could also potentially destroy the Zeus. And that's what I mean. We can try to get the call shot on the head with the Gauss rifle, which breaches his cockpit instantly. Didn't get it. Here comes the laser barrage. It's fine. He missed most of his shots. That's good. But they still have that Thunderbolt carrier somewhere in the back. 
Z. Absolutely insane. Four strikes to this guy. Head, head, head. No, uh, yes, once, but not enough. Sensor lock. On who? On the Marauder? That's good, because the Marauder is fresh. Zeus can take a little bit. Thunderbolts missed. Oh, this is a nail biter. I wanna just get out of this. And let's not forget about the Victor who is on a flanking maneuver here. Yes, Commander. I can only get one evasion if I go down there. One. Two here. And our auto cannon is still jammed. That's bad. I guess I have to go with the one evasion. Location. It is imperative that we bring down the Zeus there. Affirmative. Nah, e-cooling crit. I was hoping that we could destroy a side torso or something. Okay. Okay. Reading you. Um. Yeah. Uh, or evasion. It's gonna go with that. So, how much damage do we need? Can I actually shoot the uh, the tank already? I think the answer is yes. Hopefully. That was a good hit. Alright. Come on, be enough, be enough, be enough. No. I should have gone alpha here. I was hoping that I could um, destroy the side torso where I thought the LRM ammo was in there. Oh, but it had a case, so it wouldn't really matter. The Rifleman. Now cord. Internal structure damage. Good shot, Mr. Victor. Good shot. Oh my god. Big hit. That was a big I don't know what to do with the Rifleman anymore. I just have to present them better targets. For them, better targets. Targets that are... Less evasive than the rifleman in the back. For example, the Zeus being my decoy, being my bait. Oh, that's bad. Don't crit. Okay, that's the second battle mechdown. Um, yeah, we are still... Guys, we are still playing this, right? We want to get out of this successfully. <laughs> no matter the cost. That's what they always say. No matter the cost. Uh, I'll destroy this guy. Or the Victor's head. No, we have to take out firepower. Copy that. that is something. Okay, he's dead. Technically. Oh, 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 this mission came with a cost here. But you know what? I have a Banshee lying around and I wanted to replace the Rifleman with the Banshee anyway, so maybe it's just a good reason. Holy cow. Okay, that was really bad. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Vigilance. Sprint. Gonna go into the water. Where's that stupid that. big tank? Hatton? No. This guy in the back. Ah, uh, I couldn't see it anymore. Alright. Party's on. It just makes sense shooting it. Yeah, the pattern is not a not a real threat. Fire. Alpha strike here. Just makes sense. Alright. We will get there. I will not retreat from this mission. Does it look like? How big is the damage? We just got hit by a victor with a hundred. Also, minus one initiative thanks to the Juggernaut ability. When I want to see it. Uh, yeah, it's fine. That is not fine. 
somehow we need to get closer to the tank in the back. Some. Ow. Precision strike to a single component. Let's do it. You, you know what? I'll even take internal damage for that. I have the strong feeling that this is absolutely necessary right now. Cool. Keep an eye on my heat commander. How are the odds? Level is what? I mean, at the very least, <laughs> our AMS was helping us big time here. Okay. Okay. Uh, by the way, this is a heavy missile carrier. That is just it. It is just a ridiculous thunderbolt. Staring, bearing, dude, guy with a ridiculous amount of ridiculousness. <sighs> okay. All right, let's Gonna get in and destroy that. And that's kid. That kids happens when you don't deal with them immediately. Reporting enemy vehicle removed. Funnily enough, I'm happy that he hit me in the back. Wait, am I? My mech is coming apart around me. Uh, we still have some structure here. Please don't kill me. Damage critical. Eek. Come on, people. Let's make it happen. Yeah, problem is, <laughs> we can only restart here. And the enemies have a full turn now before we do something. <laughs> We won't retreat. Very important. We won't retreat. Yeah, you're pretty much wounded. I see that. Um, you're fine. Maybe. Regain footing. Good to go. Okay, okay, okay. Where to? Okay, maybe this is it. Maybe we can still do it. Partisan, to the side. All go. Partisan destroyed. And now, Wobble is coming around the corner, giving this Victor hell the head. 22%! Yeah, he's dead. Ooh. That was a mission, everybody. That was hell of a mission. The combination of sensor lock combined with the Thunderbolt missiles and everything else that they just threw at us. They had like 8 mechs with all long range that could shoot all the time while I was struggling getting into position. And you could see the results. It was unfortunate. Uh, we got a bit unlucky. Bit unlucky. Um, but there was no real way out of this. The sensor locks, plus the thunderbolts, plus uh, all the long range, as I was saying. That was a big problem. But we lived through it. Uh, the question is, what do we get out of this year? <laughs> Apart from a ridiculous high repair cost. Um, it could be the charger. It could be a grasshopper. It could be a victor. It will be a victor. Good money. And it could also be some interesting weapon systems. Let's take a look around. Wow, that's 20s with plus plus 2 stability damage? I actually want that. I want to put that into my Zeus. That is, uh... Yeah, still there. <laughs> okay. And then the Thunderbolts. Crazy. Absolutely insane. Uh, yeah, I'll just do that. I'll take the 20s. They are too good uh, to leave him on the board. What do we get? Two Thunderbolt parts, one Grasshopper part, two Victor parts, uh, an AC2 double plus, an Arrow 4. Yeah, that was coming from our Stalker. Pulse Laser, uh, the Rack 5. Yeah, that was coming from our Rifleman. And then all of the other stuff here. I'm sad. But hey, we, can, we could actually salvage our Rack ammo. That's important for building the Banshee now. Okay, on the downside, yeah, we lost some mechs. On the upside, we can build new mechs. We can build Banshee together and we can build the Atlas together that we actually did already. And 
I'm looking very much forward to that. That has been your episode of Battletech Advanced 3062 for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode nonetheless. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.